Hi, Stampin' Friends. Um, this is the stamp set I'm going to be using. It is actually in the regular catalog on page 104. You can see it here with the little zebras and stuff. And it has happy birthday and stuff. So you can see it there. And then it is also in the beginning stampers brochure. That's this little little thing right here with the um, with these um, note cards with it that is supposed to make it, you know, nice and easy for new stampers to use. Now, it comes, you can buy it, they're suggesting you use the new in colors with it. Um, and you can use these little note cards, the regular note cards that we've used before with it, and that makes it really simple for new people. So I'm gonna show you some really simple cards. I'm gonna show you a technique, and then I'm also going to show you um, kind of the way that, that they have done it in the catalog. So I have several different little things to show you tonight. So first, I'm going to show you what I've done. To make this easier, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and cut several pieces of um, four by five and a quarter uh, cardstock just to kind of make it so that you have something to work with here. So, let's see if I can get it down just a little further. There we are. Um, so you'll want to do that. And then here you can see that I have it here on my block. It has some other little phrases with it too, like time to celebrate, hooray to you, and then some little flowers. So you could use these small flowers and make a background using a couple of different colors. That would be really cute. Um, you could also stamp these on a piece of scratch paper and punch them out with something like the classic label punch. And that would make it really simple to add just a little bit of extra to the side. I'm going to start then with some um, Coastal Cabana. I'm going to put some Coastal Cabana on this background or on this large stamp. And then I'm just going to stamp it on here. Kind of try to do that quickly. So there we go. And then what Stampin' Up! would suggest is that you just use maybe a regular piece of cardstock and then just mount it on there. So that is a great simple card that you could definitely use for someone who's brand new at stamping. Um, because this is, I mean, this is a very useful card and it's very cute. But let's say you wanted to kind of stamp it up, I mean, step it up a little bit. So one thing that I had planned to show you was this. First thing I'm gonna do is clean this off on the back because I don't think it'll matter. I don't think it'll go through. So this is to do the baby wipe ink pad technique. So what that means is you could take this and cover it with just one color if you wanted to. But what I like to do with this is put several colors on it in several different places. So like here I am putting Pacific Point and I'm gonna put some Bermuda Bay. Just kinda of try to imagine where I would put that. And I'm gonna put some Highland Heather. And you can just barely tell what color it is so that hopefully I won't put them exactly right together. And then I'm gonna put some Granny Apple Green. So I kind of want to get them close together so that I don't have any spots that are not inked. Kind of trying to be aware of where things are. And then just kind of, whoopsie, a little more there. Add a little more Bermuda Bay here. And this is a very old kind of technique, but I like it sometimes. It just kind of um, adds an extra dimension to what you're doing. Put a little more 
purple down here. And it probably would look better if you had a real plan before you started out, like you used, you know, things exactly where you um, intend to put them. So when I start getting to the edges, I just kind of put a little bit because you're probably not gonna use the entire space. Um, you're probably just gonna use um, bits and pieces here and there. So that there, I'm gonna put a little bit more blue down here, the Pacific Point. And it can be a messy technique, but I like to use just a regular DVD case and that makes it really simple to um, keep it from getting on other things while you're working. Now I'm just gonna kind of imagine, does it look like I have it fully covered? Almost, I think I'm gonna put a little bit more of the dark blue over here. I think I'm gonna call that good. And I'm gonna close these up because I can already see that I've gotten just a little bit here on this edge of this other reinker I decided not to use. So I should probably try to clean that up. There we go, just to be safe. One thing I noticed for the re-inkers this year also, we have these um, little caps um, from some old things that I had had, some old um, embellishments. And now that we have the new 2020-2021 um, um, embellishments for those, I think those will work great on our um, caps as well. Okay, so now one thing I don't wanna do after I start this, I don't wanna move it a whole lot. So I, I'm looking at this again and I'm thinking it probably needs to go up just a little bit right here so I can be sure and get all the spots. Add a little more over here. And a little more over here. Okay. Now, what I was saying was you don't wanna go, you don't wanna go up, down, up, down, up, down. Number one, you might splash it on your shirt. Number two, you um, might make it muddy, might make the colors muddied. So, just kind of want to go down, maybe just kind of barely scooch it. And then look and see if you think you have it covered. Well, I can't really tell. Let me go right back in that same spot if I can. Oh, who knows? Let's see what happens. I can always add more ink and try it again because that is a good look to do um, a couple of times and then you'll have more cards to send to more friends. Okay, let's see. There we are. And that actually is the look I was going for. Um, just kind of like where it's sort of modeled. Let me see if you can see. There we go. Um, it just kind of gives it a little bit of a modeled appearance and then for me, I would put that on this Highland Heather base, like this. And that's how I would probably begin the card. And then I might add maybe some white twine or um, maybe some blue twine here, just to kind of add a little bit of, um, I don't even know what you would call it, just a little bit of texture and a little bit of height. So that is, one technique that you can use with this stamp set. Then I just have these others to show you that are fairly simple. And um, this one, I inked the entire stamp. So like I used just a um, an ink pad that was in the So Saffron. And then I used a Q-tip like this and cleaned off all of the places. Let me get this where you can see it cleaned off all of the letters here with the Q-tip. Then, to be sure I got it all, I went back in with my blender pen. So you'll see here when I do this, you can go back in with the blender pen and it may look like there's no ink on there, but if you go ahead and um, mark it on something, there is a lot of ink that's still left on there. So you can like use that to get the last little bit off. Then you can go back in with your marker. Like I, on this one, I used Bermuda Bay, even though I was using um, the um, Coastal Cabana cardstock, I still use the Bermuda Bay just because it's bright and dark. And I went back in over the birthday and the happy and um, made it pop in a different color. 
So then I thought that this needed a little more to it. So after I popped it up on dimensionals, I added a ribbon here. And even though this, this other little piece of string is, is coming down, I just decided that that was um, still really cute on there. So that's another thing that's just kind of up to you. And then I wanted to make a card that was kind of stepped up, I guess you'd say. And for that card, I just used um, typical um, thick white cardstock. Then I used the Daffodil Delight, and I embossed that with that new Ornate Garden embossing folder that goes with that um, Ornate Garden set. And then, because it has flowers. It's not the same flowers, but I still thought it was cutesy. And then I just cut this out with scissors. And then I just added this bow, also in Daffodil Delight, and then I just scattered some pearls across it. So just another way that you could do that. And let me see here if I can find, I was going to show you one more way to do this. Um, I thought it would be really cute to actually color the whole thing because that's what Stampin' Up! shows in the um, catalogs is that you just color the entire thing with markers which could be really cute. Luckily, I have my trusty wipes here because I was doing the baby wipe technique. Um, I would do the same thing just like this with the um, Simply Chamois and it works pretty much exactly the same way. Okay, so there's that. You could also use your black marker to make your ribbon black if you wanted to do that and then also to make your happy birthday black. Okay, so um, what Stampin' Up! suggests is that you color all of the, um, the main part in one color, which you can certainly do, but you can also go in back a little darker with, and I, this is what I'm going to do in just a second, and I hope it turns out oh well, all right. So you'll notice that I'm not using the tip point of this down onto the um, stamp because um, that will really tear up the tip point of your marker. I'm just using basically the side of the stamp and trying to even keep the tip off the actual stamp itself. Okay, and I want to go in here in the middle, in between the letters, so I can get all of those inked up. There we go. All right, I think that's pretty good. Then I want to go back in with my Bright Melon Mambo and maybe add some centers to the flowers. I'm not sure how this will look because you're seeing me try it right now. Then I'm just gonna go in with some darker, some gorgeous grape and do just a couple of these um, tiny small flowers in between here um, just to kind of add a little bit more. Um, and I hope it doesn't just make it look mottled. What I'm going for is to make it look cute um, and have more color, but it's possible that I might end up just making it look like I didn't get it stamped evenly because of the difference in colors. So we will see how that work turns out. And then I'm gonna go in with the happy birthday and use the flirty flamingo. Try to be sure and get the whole thing. I had a little trouble with that the first time. I didn't quite get the entire um, letter. So I wanna go all the way down. Then I'm gonna go back over the little bow and go over the string going down. Now, since I've taken so long to do this, you wanna be sure and do what's called huffing where you kind of breathe on the stamp. And what that does is um, re-moisten the ink so that it will stamp um, neatly and richly in all of the spaces that you've used before. Now, I stamped this big. I wouldn't wanna just do one, I wanna go, Okay, let me let you see me because it's weird. So I'm gonna just try this right now, maybe one more. Let's see. Hopefully I got it moistened back up well enough. Okay, there we are. And you can see that I did use the um, Melon Mambo on the centers. So you can see that that's fairly well um, colored. And then we have the um, flirty flamingos, kind of a little bit of a corally pink. And then you can actually tell that I used the darker um, grape, I think, on this one. 
So then what I would do is just put it on a Highland Heather, or maybe I'd use a grape or a pink on here with this one. So that's another way that um, beginning stampers can really enjoy getting this, um, getting their money's worth out of this um, stamp if they buy it. So of course, you know, you could add embellishments, you could um, use some kind of little die cut um, edge on here and that would be super cute. The deal is that um, those things start to cost money. So what, what you're trying to do here is show people that they can make a lot of birthday cards without just getting, without investing in every single thing that we sell. So I'm gonna go back over these one more time. I'm gonna show you the original one that, or I mean, not the original, but the one that we did using the Baby Wipe ink pad where it um, did a lot of different colors all on the one page. And then the original where it's just basically a monochrome, super simple and makes a nice fast card. And then where I inked up the balloon with just my um, So Saffron and then used a Q-tip to take off the ink and then add the ink back in, uh, used a Q-tip and then I used the blender pen to remove all of the ink from the words and um, be sure I got it all, I kind of scribbled it out. Then I used my um, Bermuda Bay, which I was saying on this, sometimes you go a little darker, and put my ink back on my letters. And then I just added a bow here just to add a little more of a look to it. And then this one where it's really stepped up, to me anyway, um, where I cut it out, put the bow on the bottom, and then added the pearls. And then of course the embossed background. So. Anyway, I hope that you all enjoy that and that you'll try these either with your beginning stampers or try it if you are a beginning stamper. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great week weekend. Bye-bye.